kind of... Fans might have thought that, but they came out of the woodwork. Most hoping ASU would snap the nine-game losing skid. A few, of course, thinking the Cats would keep that streak alive. But 73,000-plus turned out, and as Steve Facenti reports, it was worth the price of admission, at least for Sun Devil followers. The Sun Devils came out intent upon avenging the last nine years in the first quarter. Their first drive ends with a Mike Ritchie 30-yard field goal, 3-0 ASU. On their next drive, the Devils' running game makes big gains. Mario Bates, a nice 26-yard run. What a way to stop, but it sets up this touchdown. In the air, Brett Powers rolls left, throws across the field to a wide-open Eric Gulliford. A 24-yard touchdown pass. It's 10-0 Devils. When he saw the quarterback going the other way, and I'm flowing with the quarterback, then I cut back. Uh, he didn't even see me, I don't think, and uh, Brett stopped, threw the ball back across the field, and uh, that's something we had in the game plan uh, we had worked on this week, and uh, it worked out great. The Devil defense was equally as productive. Dave Dixon drags down quarterback Chuck Levy for the 12-yard loss, and it forces the Cats to punt to Eric Gulliford. Gulliford fumbles the ball, picks it up, surprises a couple of U of A defenders, then goes down the sidelines, diving into the end zone just in front of the final U of A player, 68 yards for the touchdown, 7-0 ASU as the first quarter ends. Oh, yeah, definitely, because it's U of A. I mean, I've never, I haven't run a punk back since I've been in college, and uh, 